Welcome to STEM Safari Channel. Hello friends. Today we are going to do 10 simple science experiments. You will need common household items for these experiments. For your safety, always do experiments under the supervision of a responsible adult like your parent or adult guardian. So let's get started. First experiment, dancing raisins. Grab a tall walled glass, a pack of raisins, and a carbonated drink like lemonade. Now pour the carbonated drink into the glass until it's full. Make sure the glass is mostly full and there's not too much space at the top. Drop in a few raisins and take a close look. What do you see? The raisins are floating up and down in the glass. It looks like they are dancing. That is carbon dioxide bubbles lifting them like tiny balloons. If you want, you can also use ginger ale instead of lemonade. Next experiment, magic milk swirl. Pour milk into a shallow plate. Try not to make too much noise while pouring. Otherwise, the milk will splash out. Add a few drops of food coloring. Don't mix it just yet. Now, dip a cotton swab in dish soap. Be careful not to put too much or too little. Just a small amount is needed. Touch the milk with the cotton swab. Then watch what happens. Isn't that amazing? It looks like magic. The colors swirl around like a colorful tornado. This happens because soap breaks the surface tension of milk. Surface tension is an invisible force that makes the milk form a tight skin on the surface. When the soap touches the milk, it weakens the surface tension and the milk becomes more fluid. As the milk moves, the food coloring is carried along with it, creating beautiful swirls. Next experiment, balloon blow up. Grab a plastic bottle, some vinegar and baking soda. Pour about half a cup of vinegar into the bottle. It doesn't matter which kind of vinegar. Now put some baking soda into a balloon. Be careful not to spill any. Hold the neck of the balloon over the top of the bottle and lift the balloon so the baking soda falls into the bottle. Watch what happens. That is carbon dioxide gas from the reaction. Lifting the balloon causes more of the baking soda to fall into the bottle. This creates more gas and inflates the balloon even more. The reaction between vinegar and baking soda produces carbon dioxide gas. Vinegar has acetic acid and baking soda has sodium bicarbonate. When they react, they exchange ions and form carbonic acid. Carbonic acid decomposes into carbon dioxide and water. Next experiment, walking water. Take three cups and place them in a row. Add water to the first and third cup. Add a few drops of red food coloring to the first cup and blue to the third. The middle cup should be empty. Place two paper towels on the counter, one connecting the first and middle cup, and the other connecting the middle and last cup. Now watch what happens. That is called capillary action. Water travels up the paper towel and eventually fills the empty cup. This happens because the water molecules are attracted to the fibers in the paper towel. The attraction is stronger than the attraction between the water molecules themselves. So the water molecules move from the full cups to the empty one. Capillary action is the same force that allows water to flow up through plants and trees. Next experiment, invisible ink. Grab a few cotton swabs and a bottle of lemon juice. You can use any type of lemon juice. Now dip a cotton swab in lemon juice and write a secret message on a piece of white paper. Let it dry. Now, here's how to reveal the message. Take a hair dryer and turn it on. Gently heat the paper. The lemon juice will burn first and turn brown. Look, now you can read the secret message. Lemon juice contains citric acid. The acid reacts with the fibers in the paper to create a brown color. This process is similar to how fingerprints are developed using powders on a metal plate. Next experiment, rubber egg. Grab a cup and a bottle of white vinegar. Take a raw egg and place it in the cup. Pour the vinegar over the egg. Make sure the egg is fully covered. Let it sit overnight. When you come back, you may be surprised to see that the eggshell has disappeared. 
That is because the acid and the vinegar broke down the calcium carbonate in the egg. The eggshell is made of calcium carbonate. When exposed to vinegar, which is acetic acid, it reacts to form calcium acetate and carbon dioxide gas. Calcium acetate stays in solution, while carbon dioxide gas is released. So the acid is breaking down the eggshell little by little. You now have a rubbery egg left behind. It feels weird, doesn't it? And you can actually squeeze it and it bounces. It's pretty cool. Next experiment, homemade lava lamp. Grab a tall walled clear bottle, some water, vegetable oil, food coloring, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet. Pour about a fourth of the way full of water into the bottle. Add a few drops of food coloring. Add about three times as much vegetable oil as water to the bottle. Drop the Alka-Seltzer tablet into the bottle. Now watch the colorful blobs float and fall like a lava lamp. Oil and water don't mix, so they form separate layers. The Alka-Seltzer tablet releases carbon dioxide gas when it hits the water. The gas forms bubbles and lifts the colored water up. When the bubbles reach the surface, they burst and the water falls back down. The cycle repeats and creates a lava lamp effect. Next experiment, static butterfly wings. Draw or cut out a butterfly from paper. Tape the butterfly onto a wall or propped against something. Take a balloon and rub it against your hair. Do it for about 30 seconds. The balloon will become charged with static electricity. Now hold the balloon near the butterfly wings and watch what happens. The wings will rise up like magic. That is static electricity in action. When the balloon rubs against your hair, electrons are transferred from your hair to the balloon. Your hair becomes positively charged and the balloon becomes negatively charged. Like charges repel, so the balloon will push away from your hair. The negative charge on the balloon will also repel the negative charge in the paper butterfly wings. So the wings rise up towards the balloon. Eventually, the charges will recombine and the butterfly will fall back down. Next experiment, color changing water. Pour water into two cups. Add a few tablespoons of red cabbage juice. Now, slowly add vinegar to one cup and baking soda to the other. Watch the colors change. That is a pH test. Red cabbage juice is a natural pH indicator. It turns red in the presence of acid and blue in the presence of base. Vinegar is an acid and baking soda is a base. So the red cabbage juice turns red in the vinegar solution and blue in the baking soda solution. Acids have a pH of less than seven. Bases have a pH of more than seven. Neutral substances have a pH of 7. The pH scale measures how acidic or basic a solution is. Next experiment, soap-powered boat. Take a small piece of paper and fold it into a boat shape. Put the boat in a dish of water. Don't put too much water, just enough to cover the bottom of the boat. Add a drop of soap to the back of the boat and watch what happens. That is surface tension being broken by the soap. Surface tension is an invisible force that makes the surface of the water feel tight. When the soap reaches the back of the boat, it weakens the surface tension and the boat zooms forward. The boat moves because the surface tension of the water is reduced on one side. This creates an uneven distribution of surface tension, causing the boat to move towards the side with higher surface tension. That was amazing. Science is full of surprises. Which experiment did you like the most? Tell us in the comments below. Subscribe and click the bell for more fun science videos. Remember to always clean up and thank your adult helper for all their assistance. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.